Hey guys, welcome back to Nail Gems here with another nail art tutorial. I was feeling a little Halloween-ish because they're starting to pull up, put out Halloween things in the store, so I figured, hey, why not try an easy Frankenstein nail art tutorial, and this is how it turned out. Now that green that I just showed you is actually a very good green. It looks a little bright and weird on camera, but it is a very nice green in person. I did only need one coat for that to be successful. Now here I am actually using gel nail polish that does need to be cured. The reason for that is just because it's very easy to clean it up whenever I make a mistake or to add on or to remove. Now for that particular nail gel, it is actually not very um, opaque on the first coat, so you will have to do two coats. Here's me doing the second one for his hairline, of course. I think it you kind of look more like a cone head Frankenstein, but you know, you get the you get the understanding of it. And so that's how it'll look once you cure it. It'll be perfectly touchable, no problem, because I am using a no white gel, and this white is also a no white but gel polish from finger paints. For the same reason I use it, you know, easy to manipulate, easy to wipe off. And I did put these dots in the eyes while it was still wet. I hadn't cured it yet. Now I did that so that it would kind of um, spread out and blend in a little bit and it wouldn't just be like sitting on top of a cured dot because it does tend to lump up and, you know, be a little bulgy. But honestly, for eyes, that probably wouldn't be that, that bad of a, a look. But I just wanted it to lay flat and blend in, which is why I did that. Now, for his mouth, I kind of tried to do a, a sideways mouth here, but it looked a little wonky. It's because the fingernail is so, I mean, the swatch stick is so big, but I do clean that up later, and you'll see as I go that I do add a little extra on the sides here and there. And eyebrows, for the love of God, I could not figure out what kind of eyebrows to give this Frankenstein. To give him any at all but i did give him some and i figured since halloween frankenstein i'd kind of make him look angry so that he looked a little more scary but i think the cone head edge i have on the top of the swatch stick kind of takes away from that a little bit but all in good fun now i did decide to add some little accent like um scars or stitching on him and i just did one by his face kind of in the empty space that was around the bottom And I cured the white and then I went in with the black because if you don't cure the white then the black will just smudge into it so yeah that is cure the white then go in with the black and then cure the black I did go over the black like I said once again trying to make it a little bit darker because it is kind of iffy you can also use the um, acrylic paint that would work pretty well but it might be a little more difficult to clean it up and there he is all nice and dry i put a top coat on and that's it for this video thank you for watching let me know what you think